leading up to the election, we're always talking about division, what makes one person different from another person. But an event like San Francisco's Fleet Week is designed to bring people together, to celebrate our country. And that is exactly what 17-year-old Mia de Guzman was doing the day of October 14th. She had just immigrated to the United States two days before, and she was enjoying Fleet Week shows on the Marina Green with her family. But the family outing took a very bad turn when a Navy parachutist landed right on top of them. As our Andrea Nakano reports, Mia's life may never be the same. During the event, spectators on this lawn were watching parachutists drop down from the sky onto a landing zone. One of them, though, strayed off course and hit a 17-year-old girl. Today, the family released the video she was taking at the time this all happened. You can see the parachute is trying to signal that something is wrong as he's coming down to make a landing. Instead, he lands right on top of 17-year-old Mia de Guzman. Are you okay? At this point, she can't watch the video. She can't look at the news articles. Um, but she doesn't blame the Navy. She knows that this wasn't intentional and that nobody was targeting her. This video taken by de Guzman was released today by the family's attorney, Tanya Gomerman. In a statement, Mia de Guzman says she immigrated to the U.S. just two days before the air show and was excited to explore the city. Now this incident has left her with serious injuries. Her pelvis was fractured and needed screws to hold it together. She also faced criticism from some on social media who said she should have tried to move out of the way. It was really sad to me seeing the 17-year-old girl essentially being blamed when she was right where she was supposed to be, doing what she's supposed to be doing, which is laying on the grass filming this amazing air show. Gomerman wants the Navy and the city of San Francisco to take a look at their safety protocols. She says this incident has left Mia unable to do daily tasks without the help of her family. The family hasn't taken legal action yet, partly because they are still trying to figure out the extent of Mia's injuries. Unfortunately, once you present a claim, there's a strict deadline for when you could settle it or file a lawsuit. So for us, we're not ready to present a settlement claim. That's why we wanted to just get all of the information out there, get the video out there. So if it takes another year for her to recover, the Navy can still do the investigation, the city can do the investigation and make sure it doesn't happen again. Mia's mom also suffered a concussion and a bruised arm. Gomerman says the family just wants to make sure that their medical bills are taken care of and this doesn't happen to anyone else.